Here is a selection of items that we would find in a well sorted recycling bin from the curbside. We would expect to find plastic bottles, your food and drinks cans, cardboard, paper, catalogues and magazines. What do we mean by plastic bottle recycling? The plastic that's acceptable in your recycling bin has to be bottle shaped. What do we mean? Well we mean things like this tomato sauce bottle that's made of plastic, shampoo bottles and all those bottles in your bathroom that are made of plastic, your milk container that's made of plastic and please don't forget the very important things like this washing powder that's actually a liquid in a plastic bottle. What's the best way to recycle your plastic bottles to make them acceptable in your recycling bin? Well, the easy way to remember is wash, squash and tops off. So give them a rinse, remove the top and put the top in your ordinary waste bin, your general waste bin, which gets sent off to the energy from waste plant to be made at electricity. The rest of the bottle, once it's washed, can be popped into your recycling bin. Don't worry about this little plastic collar. It's such a small percentage of the whole bottle, it won't cause a problem. Nor will these plastic labels or paper labels that are around the bottles. Just leave them on. The more important thing to remember is to remove these tops. Food and drinks cans are a very important thing to remember to put in your recycling bin. For example, we've got this sardine can. The cans that you use for cooking, so you, you've got a tomato can here, baked beans, soup cans. Don't forget all your cat and dog food cans. The soft drinks cans, which can be aluminium or steel, pop it in, we'll wonder what it's made of and sort it out accordingly. And don't forget your aerosols. People often don't realise this is a very acceptable material in your recycling bin, providing they're empty of gas and liquid. Put your aerosols in too, please. Please help us by ensuring that your cans are rinsed out and dripped dry. Failure to do that can actually contaminate your bin, for example this newspaper with a lot of tomato sauce on it will cause the newspaper to be contaminated. It can contaminate the rest of the bin. The refuse vehicle that's collected the whole streets recycling. It can even go as far as the sorting plant where it is, by the way, hand sorted at some of the stages. Um, so if you can consider the impact that your action can have by not washing out these cans on the whole recycling process. Let's talk about paper and card from your recycling bin. Kitchen tubes, toilet roll centres, they're very acceptable. All of those newspapers and magazines. Your junk mail, recycle them through your curbside bin and the cardboard, the clean cardboard from some of your food products and the heavier brown card too, that's very acceptable. Some of these products have been used with food. If they look clean to you then they'll be acceptable. See all of these, excellent things to recycle. However, this pizza box, it still has food waste on it. That wouldn't be acceptable. That would actually cause a problem to the other paper in your bin or to your neighbour's bins. You may want to rip the top off, which is pretty clean, and 
put this base into your general waste bin. All of these plastic bottles can be recycled through your curbside recycling bin. We have a small portion of plastics here to show you the things that can't be recycled through your curbside bin. The plastic carrier bags are a big no-no. If they're empty, they're a low-grade plastic anyway, so they're not useful for us to collect. They get trapped amongst the paper, so they cause contamination. If they're full, they could hold food waste, nappy waste, dog waste. We really don't know without breaking them open, and the operatives don't have the time to inspect each sealed plastic bag. So it's best not to put plastic bags and carrier bags in your recycling bin. They're not bottle shaped, so don't put those ones in, please. These food containers, again, low grade plastic, easily squashed, therefore easily hidden amongst the paper products. You'll recall that four fifths of your curbside recycling bin is paper products. So this is a very lightweight product with poor market value that can cause contamination of a high value paper product. So it's better for us if you don't put this kind of plastic in your bin. Residents also ask us if we can recycle wrapping paper, gift paper, Christmas paper and this sort of thing. Um, the, this is a crisp wrapper for a multi-pack. There's a good chance that this particular wrapper is high content plastic and it's not bottle shaped therefore we wouldn't want it in the recycling bin. Christmas wrapping and birthday wrapping paper look similar. How can we tell? What's the easy way of telling whether this is recyclable or not? Is it a high content paper or is it plastic? Well, try squashing it. If it squashes and springs straight back, then that's high quantity of plastic. So it's not recyclable through our curbside bins. If it stayed squashed, then it would be a high percentage of paper so it would have been acceptable. 